G'day everyone, my name's Brandon Bruce and welcome back to my channel, Escaping Comfort Zone. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on the travel adventures, tips and tricks. Um, so as you can see, I'm back to my hometown, Australia. I just arrived from the Philippines yesterday and I tell you what, I had an amazing time there. It was great. The locals were so friendly, the boat tours were amazing and the food, oh, some of the food was delicious. But there was times where I did not have the most pleasant time and I really wish I knew these things before I arrived. But that's why I'm here today, guys, because I've got 10 tips everyone should know before they travel to the Philippines. So let's get into it. Woo! So tip number one, and this is the very first mistake I made coming into the Philippines. So I was, I landed in Manila, I had a connecting flight to Corin, and I gave myself two and a half hours, which I thought was enough, um, to get to that next flight. But little did I realise, I was just going to completely miss it. So I missed that flight and I had to buy another flight because I got stuck in immigration lineup for 40 minutes and then I found out I had to get to Terminal 2, which was a 40 minute taxi right away. So I completely missed my flight. I was forced to buy another flight, which cost $500 and the taxi driver ripped me off and I was just having a horrible time. But now that I know this, I feel like you guys should know that whenever you're arriving to Manila Airport, at least give yourself four hours to connect to your other flight, just so you do not miss it. And instead of taking a taxi to get to the next terminal, I heard you can take like a shuttle bus um, through the airport. So that's a lot faster and cheaper. But yeah, learn from my mistake guys and always get there early. Tip number two. Okay, so when you arrive in the Philippines, as you'll know, the Wi-Fi is horrible. Everywhere you go, the Wi-Fi is so unreliable. So your best bet is if you really need service, um, just buy the SIM cards there. I think the SIM cards, they got Smart and Globe. I chose Globe, I heard Globe is a really good one. And you can pay a thousand pesos, which is about 25 Australian dollars, which will get you eight gig of data. So yeah, if you really want service in the Philippines, buy a SIM card and don't rely on the Wi-Fi because it is shocking. So tip number three, so your main transportation around the Philippines will be tricycles, vans and buses. Um, I don't recommend to go in taxis because they'll usually overcharge you and it will just cost way too much. Tricycles, they're very easy to get, they're everywhere and they're super cheap so whenever you get a chance to jump in one of those, go on a tricycle. Van rides, van rides are great for long distance journeys but I do warn you, they are very fast drivers and pretty scary, so take that into mind. And if you're also doing long journeys as well, you can take the aircon buses, which are very cheap, but there's also buses with no windows, so do not take them because it's way too hot. So tip number four, in regards to transportation and also if you're buying anything in the Philippines, try to barter anything down. Like, a lot of times you will get ripped off and you will think, you're paying the right price, but most of the times you're not. I have been ripped off many times myself. I paid 1,200 pesos for a tricycle ride, finding out later that most other people paid 400 pesos for. And I also paid like 3,000 pesos for a taxi ride, which should have been like 500 pesos, so. What? No. Yeah, learn from my mistake, guys. Always barter. Just ask the locals what the prices usually are and yeah, go buy that. So tip number five, if, if you guys ever have plans to travel to El Nido, which is along the Palawan Islands, I do warn you that the water there is very dodgy. Um, I personally got sick myself. I was sick for five days straight and it was horrible. Yesterday, I just felt so sick. It was horrible. I think um, I heard a lot of stories that everyone got sick from the water in El Nido. And I think about 80% of the backpackers I met that traveled to El Nido also got sick. So whenever you travel there or if you are planning on traveling there, just be careful of taking a shower. Make sure you do not get water in your mouth. Brushing your teeth, do not use the water. And even if you go to bars, make sure you don't have ice in your drinks. 
So that's a warning, guys. Try not to get sick in El Nido. So tip number six. If you guys are ever going to any bars and order a beer, um, they'll usually put like a napkin on top of the beer. And if you're wondering why, well, that is because usually the rim of the beer bottle is very dirty and like rusty. So you sort of just wipe, wipe the rim of the bottle with the napkin so you're not really touching lips with it and drinking it because yeah that sort of seems a bit gross when you see how much dirty stuff comes off of the bottle so beware of the beers tip number seven so when I traveled to the Philippines um, it was quite peak time I think and a lot of the boat tours that I did like around the lagoons and that was amazing but it just sort of didn't feel right with how many tourists there were there were so many tourists um, so if you guys are traveling around peak time just just expect that there will be a lot of tourists everywhere and it will usually take a long time to do things tip number eight so I think this sort of relates to most of Asia but when I was in the Philippines I found out that a lot of times I went to the toilet there just wasn't any toilet paper no! So I've learnt my lesson to always bring toilet paper everywhere I go and yeah, then you won't run into that situation. And for some reasons too, the toilets just won't have toilet seats. No! God, please no! 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 So yeah, just putting that to mind. So tip number nine. So when traveling to the Philippines, I highly recommend to always have a lot of cash on you because um, when you go island to island, they won't have many ATMs. And even if you're in the areas that do have ATMs, usually a lot of the ATMs won't even work. So always carry cash. So on to me last tip, tip number 10. So usually when you're in the big cities or populated areas, um, like your best ways of transportation is by a taxi but there is also this really useful app that I found. It's called Grab, which is like an equivalent to Uber. So it's Asia's Uber. Um, so I highly recommend download Grab before you go over to the Philippines and yeah, just use that instead of a taxi because it's a lot cheaper and a lot more easier. All right, so that's it guys. That's all my tips. I hope you can take all these 10 tips into mind and I'll give you one more extra bonus tip. Remember to always have fun. Never let anything let you down because I had all these things happen to me personally, but I still had a great time when I was over there and I never let that let me down. So remember guys, follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and I hope to see you somewhere else around the world.